Hey, what's going on East High Optics students? Um, it's uh, Eckert here for another week of captivating optics uh, talk and lessons. Um, reminder, office hours are every Monday and Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Uh, I posted uh, the link in the stream, updated it. Um, some news. Obviously, everyone's heard that uh, we're not coming back to school this year, which is crazy to think that at the beginning of the school year, we weren't even in our actual classroom because of the construction that was going on. Um, and then just when it seemed like we were sort of getting caught back up, boom, um, we're not going back to school global pandemic, right? So with that being in mind, I know when people hear the news or they hear something like that, you know, many different things can happen. Uh, one of those things is people can sort of shut down and, um, and almost disappear. And I know just looking at the list every week that we update, you know, there's some students that aren't really engaged from home. I want you to think of this as a chance that you can empower yourself, take charge of your own education. Yeah, it's from home, but you have a lot of really good teachers that are trying to keep you engaged and keep you connected to the classroom. Don't let a pandemic, you know, rob you of your education. You can still gain knowledge while being at home. You have the internet, you have a world of just knowledge out there, let your teachers sort of guide you from home um, on how to get that knowledge. This this year is going to be up to you, and then hopefully next year, if you know how many of you are going to stick around and be in year two of optics, um, we're going to have some catching up to do probably physically in the lab. Today's la lesson is going to be. A little research based. So around this time of the year, uh, Mr. Connor and I would take uh, all of our year one kids to a field trip. And the company that we've been taking our year one kids is a company called Advanced Glass Industries. Um, it's where we buy all of our blank glass from. Uh, so anytime you put a lens into a curve generator, we got that, we, we purchased that lens from a company called Advanced Glass Industries. Um, the owner's name's Tony Marino. He would have taken us around, showed us the place. We would have went back to East and we would have had DeBell's subs sitting there waiting for us. And we would have had a big optics lunch. Can't do that this year, right? So uh, what you're gonna do, uh, and with that field trip, we sort of couple that with like a, a little bit of a career research thing. Well, this last unit, marking period four, I want to do a multifaceted career research project that you're going to be responsible for. And how I'm going to do that is we're going to do like one part of it, and then we're going to step, step back from it, if you will. We do a couple different lessons, and then we're going to hop back into it. And there's going to be a few different pieces to that project. Um, but if you just do it all at once, I think it's going to get a little boring. It's going to get repetitive. But this week is going to be part one of that project. So what you're going to be doing, I'll share my screen with everyone. And I've gone right to the assignment for the week is you're going to be filling out company profiles. So notice the first one here is Advanced Glass Industries. That's where everyone would have went and toured. What you're gonna be responsible for, and I'll highlight it right here, is filling out the company profile and using the company list and the internet as your research, uh, resource. I'm gonna show you a few things about this. So the first thing you gotta look up is address. Well, if I go into a web browser here and I type in Advanced, glass industries 
right here on the right pops up some information. Here's my address right there, right? Boom, address, year founded. If I go back into my research here, they're not gonna tell me right here, but if I go into here, I go into their website and I type about AGI and history, it's gonna tell me the year that they were founded, oh, 1945, um, and it's gonna give a history of the company. Most companies have that. The company that's give you will have this stuff. Um, some other questions you're gonna see, products offered, all found on their website. Capabilities, found on their website. Their history, we were just at their history, right? The annual revenue is a little trickier. You have to actually type in a research, the company, Advanced Glass Industries, and then annual revenue. You're gonna find that you have to do some digging for this. I had to go to a couple different sites in Advanced Glass Industries I found on this one site called zoominfo.com. I found that their annual revenue is about $5 million. Now, they're a pretty big blank supplier, but they're actually not the biggest in the area. Uh, there's a couple of other ones in the area that make a lot more than that. Um, so this is just the, the one we are gonna be touring. Um, and then notable achievements, what makes the company unique? So you're gonna find that information in their website and you have three companies that you're gonna be responsible for today or for this lesson, sorry. The next lesson, I'm gonna give you three different companies. So six companies in total, you guys are gonna to have to worry about three one day, three the next day. I'm only making one video though, you can do the research on your own. Um, so the first three companies, Advanced Glass Industries, Optimax Systems Inc., which is the company that I worked for last summer, and you'll, you heard me talking about that. Uh, if you guys know Matt, who comes in uh, and helps out, he works for Optimax. Um, and then Sidor Optics. We have, uh, I think like three students now working at Sidor, former students working at Sidor. We have um, two former students working at Optimax, and we have, I think it's two or three uh, former students working at AGI, or Advanced Glass Industries. Um, the next companies that I'll put up here, um, we do have some connections to and some current students working there. So fill these out to the best of your ability. Um, I don't think this is gonna be too difficult, but if you guys have any questions on this, or the previous assignment, uh, let me know. I'm also not gonna start putting stuff in the grade book for marking period four, because I don't know what to do yet. Um, I, I don't, honestly, know, none of your teachers know how you're gonna be evaluated marking period four. So the only thing you can do is make sure you get the work done that's being sent to you. Once we find out how things are gonna be graded, how, how they're supposed to be evaluated. Then I'll update um, grades as we go, and I'll probably try and do that on a weekly basis so we don't get too far behind doing this from home. Um, but sit tight right now. You have this assignment that you're gonna have for this week, and then one other assignment for the uh, fourth marking period that, that's already been posted. And I'll pull that up right now just so people know and that was, um, that was a trickier lesson, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the previous lesson, and I shared that, and I'm putting MP4 in front of all the lessons that will be MP4. That was this virtual optics RNC master assignment, not a 54 students have only had two turn it in. That's a little concerning. However, Elvin Lopez, Lewis, uh, Soto, good job, guys. Uh, keep doing the work. Keep turning things in. Um, all the other assignments before that, so if I go back, uh, virtual optics, metrology, tool selection, RNC, nib, all these articles, 
don't worry about them. They're marking period three stuff. Anyone that was failing marking period three got bumped up to a 65. Um, grades are already done. They're in for marking period three. Don't work on that stuff. Work on the stuff that has MP4 in front of it, right? There goes my wife. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so make sure that you guys are getting the work done. And if you have any questions, join the office hours. I know they're early, but hey, sleeping in till one o'clock in the afternoon is not healthy. So just because they're early for you, they're not early for me. I'm up at 6 a.m. every day. My, my two kids wake us up at 6 a.m. There's nothing we're doing about that. So set an alarm clock if you need help and uh, I'll help you out. All right, I hope uh, everyone is staying healthy, uh, engaged and stay active. And I will be seeing you all next week. Later.